rewind to the days done. What's up guys, it's Musical Mind Frame with A1 Productions bringing you another FL Studio 12 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you a simple explanation on how to create three-dimensional sound, mainly by automating EQ and your dry, wet, and stereo separation on your reverb. So let's go ahead and take a look. Opening up some drums, I'm gonna demonstrate it on a snare. So let's go ahead and get some hits going. And the basic principle behind this is when sound is far away from you, there's certain frequencies that you're not gonna hear, that you will hear when it's becoming closer to you also as far as stereo separation when something's far away your ears are pretty much just gonna read it as mono because it's not close enough to give specific unique left right stereo information so to create that illusion you want to keep those things in mind and do that to your sound to create an illusion that it's sound in the same way it would in nature so the person's going to feel like it is far away or closer or whatever you're trying to portray so with the EQ when something's far away you're not going to hear as many high frequencies because they're they're the first ones they're going to get absorbed so to demonstrate this we're just going to put an automation on the on a high shelf on the FL Fruity Parametric EQ2. And we're also gonna open up the Fruity Reverb 2. And we're gonna open up a hall setting. And we will be automating the dry and the wet signal. Because if something's far away, its volume is low. And also, depending on the environment or the room you're trying to create in the person's mind, you might want the wet, the actual reverb response to change over time to portray whatever you want to do. So I'm just going to kind of phone in some settings and show you all how easily and quickly this will give your sounds movement in your head when you hear it. What I did is I just selected the part that I'm automating in the playlist. And now I'm going to each little parameter I want. You right click it and click on create automation clip. And go ahead. It's good to go ahead and put the dial where you want it to be when it starts so that it's already there. And you can just adjust the end part of it. So for the EQ, we want the high to be down at first because it's far away and we'll be able to hear more high frequencies as it gets closer. So we'll just kind of guesstimate at some of this and we'll end up seeing what it sounds like. Reverb dry single signal when it's far away, it's quieter as it gets closer, it gets louder. And I'll just kind of do something similar with the wet signal. And you can even get creative with the automation. I mean, you could draw in gates and uh, even sharper 
transitions that I'm doing here to make something seem like it's moving back and forth really fast. Okay, and the stereo separation, as when it's far away, we just hear a middle signal. So I already turned the stereo separation to mono. So we'll just have it slowly going more stereo as it's supposed to be getting closer. Okay, and let's see what we ended up with. See, much nicer than just a simple volume increase automation. It actually seems like it's coming closer to you from the background. And, and, it, and to get really realistic, you really got to automate a lot and get into detail and think about the science of the sound. But even s simple things like this make a big difference. You can also automate the panning. If you automate the pan knob on the mixer, it's going to be after all the effects. So it's also going to pan the reverb. So either open up a pan plugin, or if you're using something like I, like I did, FPC, you can pan from the knob on the individual drum piece. And we'll just kind of make up something here. But... Sticking to the rule, as it's far away, we're not going to detect a whole lot of left-right. So we'll keep it in the middle when it's at its farthest point, all the way to where, where we're at, all the way to the left. And as it gets to the right, we'll have it move around a bit. And you would want to change the automation of your reverb, too, if you want the whole signal to feel like it's moving. But our reverb is probably going to pretty still seem pretty in the middle, but our snare will move around a little bit. But as we get more to the right, it's supposed to be getting closer so we can get a bit wider with our left and right panning. And it won't sound too unnatural. All right, well, there you have it, guys. How to make three-dimensional sound by using automation with EQ and reverb. Hope it was help helpful. Subscribe to the channel. A1 Productions. Peace.